Hello, welcome to Storytime with Jen. Today, we're going to be reading Black Flies by Robert Munch, illustrated by J. Ojik. Helen got up very early one morning, looked out the window and said, No snow! The snow is all gone! I love springtime! She opened the front door and heard, Oh, no, said Helen. It's the mosquitoes. It's the black flies. They're here. Ah! And she ran and hid under her bed. Then she got an idea. I think, she said, that I will see how bad the bugs really are. So she went to her little sister and said, Megan, could you go outside and tell me how cold it is? Well, said Megan, I guess I can, but I get to watch my TV show when I come back. No problem, said Helen. So Megan opened up the front door and ran outside in her pajamas. Sixteen gazillion black flies and mosquitoes landed on her. Megan yelled, ah! The sixteen gazillion black flies and mosquitoes picked Megan up and carried her across the road to the black spruce forest where the wolves and bears live. Oh dear, said Helen, the bugs are worse than I thought. Then Helen's father came downstairs and said, Where's Megan? Well, said Helen, I think Megan is in the woods in her pajamas. In her pajamas, yelled Helen's father. I'm going to go get her right now. And he ran out the door in his pajamas. Helen said, I don't think that's a good idea. Sixteen gazillion mosquitoes and black flies jumped on him picked him up in the air and carried him across the road to the black spruce forest where the wolves and bears live. Good heavens, said Helen, I have to do something. So she looked for bug spray. She found a can that said really yucky bug glitch, gave a little spritz and said yuck, but not strong enough. She found another can that said super strong, really yucky bug glitch, gave a little spritz and said yuck, but still not strong enough. She found another can that said super strong, extra yucky, even knocks out wolves bug glitch. Gave a little spritz and said, yuck, quack, blah. That's strong enough. Then Helen ran across the street and into the woods, spraying the bug spray in front of her. She came to a big pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, ah, ow, ah. Helen sprayed the pile for a while, and finally the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was a wolf, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right into the wolf's face. The wolf yelled, yuck, glack, glaw, and fell over. Sorry, said Helen. Helen walked some more, and she came to a bigger pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, ah, ow, ah. Helen sprayed that pile for a while, and finally the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was a bear, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in the bear's face. The bear yelled, yuck, glack, glob, and fell over. Sorry, said Helen. Helen walked some more, and she came to another pile of black flies and mosquitoes. From underneath, something was yelling, ow, ah, ow, ah. Helen sprayed that pile for a while, and finally the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. Underneath was Megan, and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in her face. Megan yelled, yuck, glack, glaw, and ran around bumping into trees. Sorry, said Helen. Helen and Megan went farther into the woods until they found another big pile of mosquitoes and black flies. It was jumping up and down, yelling, ow, ah, ow. Ah! I hope, said Helen, that this is my dad. I do not want to meet another bear. Helen sprayed that pile for a while and finally the black flies and mosquitoes flew away. There was Helen's dad and Helen was spraying the bug spray right in his face. He yelled, yuck, glack, glob. Sorry, said Helen. And they all stood still and heard a sound like this. 
That was 64 gazillion mosquitoes and black flies getting ready to come back because they had decided that they liked the bug spray. Run, yelled Helen's dad. And they all ran really fast through the woods, across the road, through the front yard, and into the house. Then, after breakfast, they all came out wearing bug jackets and bug hats and went for a walk in the woods because it was, after all, springtime. But unfortunately, there are no hats or jackets to keep away bears. Black flies. I stayed with Helen and Megan's family in Fort McMurray in March of 1996. Fort McMurray is in northern Alberta, about four and a half hours drive from Edmonton. It is in the middle of the black spruce forest that covers almost all of northern Canada up to where the tundra starts. It has lots of bugs in spring, so I had to write a story about that. R.M. I hope you enjoyed black flies. I really do. I'm not just saying that. This book means a whole lot to me and what it represents does as well. Black Flies is set in a First Nations community and has an all-Indigenous cast. That may not seem like a big deal to some, but for myself, as a kid, it would have absolutely blown my mind to see a kid's book with kids who talk like me and look like me, drawn by someone like me. It would have made a huge difference just to see myself represented this way. It's still incredible to see a book with Indigenous kids in every bookstore in the country. I could talk here about how much fun it was to draw this book, and it was a ton of fun, especially the scenes where Helen and her dad are reacting to the stinky bug spray. I could talk about how cool it is and what an honor it is to work with Robert Munch, a true legend in this field, and better yet, a truly great person. All of the above are immensely true. Really, I'd just like to say Kichi Miigwech to you for reading because in so doing you're helping to create a day where it's not rare to see books with indigenous kids in them on every shelf and that's pretty awesome j-o the end and that's it for today's episode of story time with jen we will see you again